Hello, I hope you're doing great. Today we are going to see a small example on how you can debug C sharp source generators. Now, before we continue, please remember to visit fairplaytube.bdicostarica.com, click the Buy Me a Coffee icon, and select a donation of your preference. This will help us keep the videos and products free for you. Okay, so how do you debug C sharp source generators? If you have already worked with source generators, one of the things that you will know is that contrary to a normal application flow, that the source generator code is actually being executed not while the application is running but while your application is being compiled right therefore it does not really have the application life cycle and the debugger is not um, engaged or attached right that actually makes it very very difficult to debug a C sharp source generator. And one of the things in which or the ways in which people actually debug C sharp source generators is by actually looking at the output and drawing diagnostics into the um, drawing diagnostics errors or warnings or messages, right? Which is useful, but it is not the best way. Um, especially if you are not an expert in compilers, syntax trees, and everything related with the internals of how applications are being compiled, right? If you are not really well, um, if you do not have a really good or detailed knowledge on those aspects of compilation and all of, all of it, um, you may find yourself in the need to be able to debug, right? But this is this has an easy solution. So in this solution, in this project, I have a small source generator in here, which is this class, right? It inherits from the um, it implements and I incre uh, the incremental generators, right? And when I am compiling, my generator will execute, and you will see that I will get a um, a message in a second. So it is asking me. Well, it says that framework exception occurred. Just in time, the debugger was launched without necessary security permission. And it says to debug this process, the just in time debugger must be run as administrator. Would you like to debug this process? So I'll say yes. And then I will choose which debugger. So, do I want to use a new instance of Visual Studio 2019, a new instance of 22, and the other one is 22 preview probably? Or do I want to keep with this instance? I want to keep with this instance. So I'll hit OK. And you see that it actually went to the source generator line where I had the breakpoint. So this is one of the tips that you can use to um, be able to debug your source generator. So basically you use the Directives, I believe those was, were called, right? And you are asking if you are in the bug, then manually launch the debugger. So when your application is compiling uh, and it's trying to execute the initialized method of the client service generator, it will find this code, it will know that you are in the bug, and then it will launch the debugger. You will be presented with those messages that we 
just so and when you accept all of that you will find yourself debugging or being able to debug the C sharp source generator and this can behave this behaves normally so you can go and inspect pretty much everything right so this is one of the ways in which you can debug C sharp source generators you can go through all of the functions through all of the steps and you can see what each of the variables have right and this is what I was saying for example see that this node this object is a syntax node I believe right and you see that it has a lot of things um, now I am not really an expert and my knowledge on comparison is actually really really low I had years not eh, wow more than a decade of not seeing everything anything about compilers right not working with it and I just can't remember a lot of things right uh, but see that it has things like syntax trees and remember that the compiler basically has access to all of your files and it requires um, it divides your classes or your files text right then identifies the, all of the words that are in there if it is a keyword if it is a variable definition if it is a data type if it is a method if it is a parameter if it is a delegate right so there is a bunch of things that it has to do so you have access to all of that in here and you work with things like identifiers right syntax nodes um, and you you have things like parents and child because you need to know right what belongs to what right so yeah so you can check in here and i believe you may be able to see let me check Uh, it didn't have like a twist string right oh here it is what i was looking syntax tree and in here you can actually see the file path right and somewhere around here you will be able to see the values that are in there right the actual content of the file So that's one of the ways in which you can debug C sharp source generators. And I hope this video has been useful. Remember, visit fairplaytube.pdiecostarica.com, click the Buy Me a Coffee icon, and select a donation of your preference. This will help us keep the videos and products free for you. Have a great day.